Welcome back, everybody. Last time we talked to Mr. Ames, who was killed by a heart attack. And we escaped nearly with our life. It's well fallen. So let's finally go find the president. But unfortunately, everybody's on high alert. Except for this guy. I'm just going to go for a little nappy nap. You go for a sleep there. Alright, well, let's get up to the next floor. Can't get back in there, everything's broken, so. So the, uh, the warning alert has died down. Thank you. The caution alert has died down. I'm also re-recording this because the last episode was crap. Anyways. I'm trying to think of the best way to get through here. Let's probably go this way. You better turn around. You just put people to sleep. Okay, that guy there had a shotgun. That hurts like hell and will probably kill you in one hit. Uh, avoid that. Anyways, let's take this stupid thing off. The enemies won't come out here, it'll just be the, uh... What do you call them? The ciphers. I think stay way the hell in here. Give it a couple of minutes, they'll go away, or a couple of seconds, they'll go away. Ah, uh. come on, be good now. And now I gotta re-record this because I did a bunch of stupid stuff and then spent like ten minutes of a video hiding from people. Similar to what I'm doing now, but hopefully I won't have to worry about that and the caution will die down a bit more. Uh, let's just go pick ourselves up some equipment. There's the S for you. There's the M4. The M4 is not really practical till later, so. Ah, here we get a new weapon. RGB6, which is pretty much a grenade launcher. I made the mistake of equipping it and showing you guys in the last episode and set it off alerting all the goddamn guards, and it really got annoying. And so is this goddamn controller, so I'm gonna just kinda hide out here for a bit. Let people wander around. Come on, you don't see anything. Claymores. C4, nothing really super interesting.
bring this guy in here. Knock him out first. Drag him into the spot here, and those guards will hopefully go away soon. Now you notice there's two types of attack teams. One attack teams with ride shields and ones that are heavily armored. They got like shielded helmets and everything. And they speak with American voices. Those guys there. They also seem to have infrared eyes. RGB6. Uh, I think I want to go down here. Yes. Here we get the PSG one. We'll need this for the next area. Pick up some extra bullets. Get herself the PSG one trank. So there we go. We've got all the equipment we'll need in this area. There's nothing here. No, there's not. You're just seeing things. Alright, let's continue on with our little adventure, shall we? And get to uh, Shell 2 to rescue the president, because that is our plan. Uh, controller, seriously. This is why I screw up so badly a lot. Because you don't cooperate. Although I, I guess I can't blame him. The controller is like 10 years old. I've had the controller ever since I've had the PS2, so... I think if you stand on here and cover yourself up with a... Actually... Uh, foods, equipment... Action figures. Uh, I don't know where any of this stuff goes. Anyways, if you step up on that and equip the cardboard box, you'll uh, they'll transport you to certain struts. And each strut, by reading the box specifically, it should give you a bit of an idea of where it's going to take you. So let's quickly run across here. Before that guard up top sees us. Surprised they didn't put like noisy floors on the top part so the enemies would hear you, but I guess they didn't want to be that much of a bastard. I don't think there's any cardboard box to get into here though. I think this is the only area you can't transport to. And here's the bridge. Crap, and those shiny boxes look kind of familiar. I remember they were saying there is syntax all over the board. Where have you been? Checking around. I'm in Strut H right now. How's the situation over there? We have a lead to the president's location. Where is he? Shell 2 core, the first floor. I'm cut off from the core where I am. It's a mess here. All right. I'm on my way to Shell 2 right now. There are IR sensors in place on the connecting bridge between Shells 1 and 2. If you break the beams, the Semtex will go off. Yeah, I know that. I heard them talking about that. Target the control units and destroy them. Make sure you don't shoot the Semtex. What do the control units look like? I know what Take they look, look like. Your binoculars. They really dummy you through this goddamn whole game. They show you stuff you really like. This whole part here you don't need to see. Yeah, I know what it looks like. And that must be the control unit. All right. Well, first things first. I'll just get down in the prone position. Look up. Look way up, and you'll see a control box there. This is the one I generally go for first because it's probably the hardest one. Uh, press circle to zoom in, sir, uh, X to zoom out.
There we go. Don't shoot the camera in the eye. Because um, that's where shit goes wrong. And take another Prozac. And another one right there. One just over here. Now if you're playing on hard, I believe there's one on this side. You have to look over between the beam here. And we're getting a call. Right. You haven't destroyed all the control units. I know. Use the first person view or the sniper Oh, God. I don't know why they force you into this conversation. You can pretty much tell. Take that one out. These ones you just kind of have to move forward a bit because it's hard to see. Um, there we go, there's one behind us. They've been spoiled completely by modern. Oh my god, that was really freaking close. I'm surprised that it did not go off there. Uh, Ryan didn't get a big thing of C4 in the face. So get rid of the birdies. That's all those. And I think there's one behind the flag here. Take some more Pinez peps. I don't know if that's... No, that's the control. Controller, stop freaking doing that. Jesus cripes. There we go. I knew it was randomly somewhere around there. Uh, no, wait, what am I doing? Rations, there we go. So once you see that cutscene, it means it's they're down. Right. And you get another I'm conversation. Outside. I'm all ears. One of the enemy's Kasatkas. Is it in good shape? Full tank. I'm heading for shell one now. What about that Harrier? It's not on the heliport here. Good. I'll set this one down there then. Can you cover the hostages? They're being held on level B1 in the core. Pliskin, you didn't happen to find any other places where hostages were being held, did you? Yeah, no. in a giant room that says okay. hostages. How many hostages are there? There's a few short of 30. One dead and several wounded. The Kasaka's cargo area will hold 13 max. Well, that's not good. Kasaka. I sabotaged it. It can't come after us if it can't get off the Just have everybody pile, it, pile on top of one another. Can you fly Fat people on the bottom. I have a pilot who's flown the civilian model, the KA-62 in VR. There's not a whole lot of difference between the military KA-60 and the civilian model. Cleared for takeoff. Raiden, let me introduce you to my partner, Otacon. Otacon? Hey, Raiden. Nice to Otacon? You. Intruders! Intruders! Raiden, More on. generic Russian. Colonel, I need some answers from you. Who exactly is Pliskin and his partner? I know what you're thinking. It keeps coming back to Shadow Moses. And now this Otacon. AKA Hal Emmerich, PhD. I know Shadow who he Moses is. Survivor. Rose? Snake and Otacon both became fugitives after Shadow Moses, wanted for acts of terrorism. I know this. I went through the entire game. Your organization. They sabotaged and destroyed countless Metal Gear units throughout the world. And were responsible for the incident two years ago that necessitated the construction of the big They did not. That was a lie. Partner aren't terrorists. Yeah, I was there. Well, sort of. Them? I controlled them. I look back on what I've done here so far. And things like training and sense of duty alone won't get you through a sneaking mission like this. Jack, are you okay? No, I'm tired of, I'm tired of these damn conversations. Let's go. Right word, but it has to be pure will. Oh. By courage, Sorry, I'm just starting to get a little annoyed about like that, all the codec calls. My life on it. It's not so much the cutscenes, cut it's Moses the codec calls that piss me off after a while. Maybe that's true. They're uninspiring they to watch. Ago. We even recovered Snake's body. And the DNA test results on the body say it's him. Jack, I know what you're saying, but Snake is dead. He can't be here. Not even as this Dr. Hal Emmerich. 
But that also means what? That he can't be the it's like she's saying that Hal Emmerich is Snake or something. I don't know. Anyways. Bye now.